tell me about a time you faced conflict in a team. So today we are talking about higher view uh, interviews. These are the pre-recorded interviews, okay? And because we've been doing a, a lot about how you guys can apply for cruise ship jobs, in most cases, in some of these company, they prepare, they, they require you to do a higher view interview. Okay, the initial interview, like you need to do that before they they schedule you for a, for a what? For a recruiter call. Okay, and that is what I'm going to be talking about. I want to take you through some of these questions that they, ha they ask. They are behavioral questions, so they are, it's not about even the position that you have applied for. For example, you're a chef, you're a waitress. It's not about what you've been doing necessarily, uh, like whatever you've been doing. Hmm. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Paulina or Jabba with Huo. And uh, we're talking about higher view interviews. So if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please do so. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, leave a positive comment, and uh, make sure your bell icon is on so that you can be notified whenever I post a video. So I know uh, these have you uh, questions sometimes can make you forget even your name. I remember this this time uh, someone told me like when he got into the interview because it's pre-recorded so you just need to read the questions then press record and then uh, record yourself while you answer the questions. Uh, he could not even remember his uh, name. Okay. So it's always a tricky situation and especially if you don't have confidence or you have that fear, um, let it not get you at this moment because this is what determines if you're going to get a recruiter call or not. They're not like difficult questions because they are behavioral questions or situational questions. But however you uh, answer them, it's all, it's all that determines how they will feel about you as a person. Okay, so I have uh, written down uh, these questions and uh, the uh, common questions asked. There are six of them or seven, if I'm not wrong. And I'm going to be taking you through the questions. And uh, it's you to work on knowing on how to answer them, depending on your situations or depending on the, quest on the position that you have applied for. Because the questions applies in all departments, like in all departments if you're a chef you, if you are a chef you're going to get the same questions as a person who is working as a waitress but now the context okay the context how you explain yourself and the result should be related to what you're doing so guys if you haven't subscribed please should please do so sit a chop and be on subscribe because it's really nice uh, it keeps me going and um, it brings something to my pocket, okay? So, uh, we're going to be looking at the common higher view interview questions. And um, it's always good to know that when it comes to these questions, uh, you need to explain yourself. That is the context. And then after that, uh, you need to show what you did that's the actions and then again you need to show what happened the results okay so if they ask your questions it's about you explaining uh what you did and the results you got from that and uh that's the trick of you being able to go through this uh higher view questions and another thing, guys, always prepare your device if you're going to be using your phone, because I'm always using my phone. Even this video I'm doing, I'm using my phone. Uh, make sure that you don't, I, I don't recommend you guys to use earphones when it comes to this specific uh, interview. Let it be free. Or oh, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, don't use earphones because I have seen it messing a lot of people. Because you have the earphones on, you don't know if the voice is being uh, like recorded on the other side. And after you submit, they get back to you with a regret. Because maybe they didn't hear you, whatever you were saying. 
and uh, with this specific interview there is no like second chances when it's gone it's gone okay so you need to prepare prior you need to make sure you set everything the writing should be okay uh make sure that you're well dressed or groomed because again this is an interview you're recording yourself make sure everything is said so we're going to be looking at these questions and how well you can answer them but it all depends with the positions that you're applying for and uh because everything revolves about around that but the questions are almost the same or similar in most cases so the first questions that we're going to be looking at which is very obvious is uh, tell me about yourself so with these questions uh with this question you need to tell them about yourself okay not about your family not like hey hi i'm pauline um 20 years old i have three brothers i have two sisters I live in Kenya, I don't know, blah, 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 but it's not about that. You tell them about yourself or, uh, in context to what you do, okay? For example, I can tell them, hi, my name is Pauline. I do uh, TikTok videos uh, telling people how they can apply for cruise ship or how they can secure jobs uh, on board cruise ship by applying online okay so you just need to explain as yourself uh with the position or with what you do okay so this question is is all about that i hope i'm doing i'm trying to do my best when it comes to the explaining of the questions on how to answer them but as long as you have the question you can go ahead and dig more on what to say or how to explain yourself this Second question, the second common question that is normally asked uh, during the higher view interview is uh, uh, tell me about a time you faced conflict in a team. Okay. Tell me about a time you faced conflict uh, in a team. So for these specific questions, what, what they are looking for is your people skill. Okay, for example, if you're a waitress, obviously you'll be working, you'll be working with the team. There's the head, uh, the head waitress, there's assistant waitress, there's the waitress, and there's um, like there's those people that you work with. So in case there's a conflict, how how do you solve that? So that is what they are looking for. They are looking for your people skill, and you need to use the same method. You explain. Uh, the situation uh, you then uh, give what you did okay what you did and the results okay and the results so when you use that uh, strategy it will help you answer those questions with a lot of ease okay so that is the question number two that uh, that is commonly uh, asked during high view interview and the third one is what was the toughest challenge you faced okay what is what was you what was the toughest challenge you faced okay this happens every time every now and then but uh, with this specific question they want to see how uh, how you prioritize a thing okay so for example if you have a situation that uh, you need to work on so you need to explain what you did okay the action you explain uh, the action or the context of the situation uh, and then you need to give the uh, action what you did and then the result that is what they want you to do so you need to make sure that you explain all that huh? how and then they want to know how well you can uh, how how you prioritize you prioritize uh, things uh the is it the fourth question yeah the fourth question is uh tell me about a time you had to deliver disappointing news okay so for example sometimes you may be asked to do something okay uh for example i may be asked to make sure by tomorrow morning i have delivered my lesson plan let's say i'm a teacher or i'm a youth staff uh uh, deep, I'm in the youth staff department or I'm a teacher and then you have to deliver your your maybe re lesson plan by the next day and uh, the next day is here 
and uh, you cannot do that. So you need to tell them that something happened or something came out or the reason why you did not deliver that. So that's what they are looking for. That's why they are saying, tell me about a time you had to deliver a disappointing news. So obviously there is a reaction, okay? But they want to see how good you can do that with without um, making things like go <laughs> everywhere, you know? Because for example, let me say, I've been told to make sure that tomorrow morning we need the lesson plans. The mo next morning come and I was just going to say, I'm so sorry I was not able to to deliver the lesson plan. You see, that will be very bad. But there's a way I can explain myself and say I was not able to deliver the lesson plan for the whole week. But I decided to work on a day, uh, each day's lesson plan. So I have prepared the lesson plan for today, for the Monday. And uh, then tomorrow, I'll have the lesson plans for the day lady, like that, and that, and that, and that, and that, if I'm explaining myself very well. So that is what they are looking for. Okay. So we go to the fifth question. Uh, the, fifth, the fifth question is, uh, tell me about a time you had to explain something complex. Okay. Tell me about a time you had to explain something complex so this is where you have to explain something that is uh what do you say i don't know how to say maybe something that happened and uh, what however it happened it wasn't good and then you had to go and explain why it happened and uh what you did and how things are or how are you going to make sure that such things don't happen in future Okay, so that is all about that question. That's this specific question. Tell me about a time you had to explain something complex. Okay, so I'm going to write down these questions on the description box of this video just in case you're not understanding <laughs> what I'm saying. And you guys can go through the questions. And uh, when you're preparing for higher view interviews, these are things that you can look on uh, at and also try to prepare for. Uh, so the fifth, the fifth, uh, question is, is it the fifth, the sixth question? Okay. I said, I'm going to give you seven questions. So the sixth one is tell us something that is not in your CV. Okay. Don't read your CV by the way, because they already have it. Okay. So whatever they're asking you, it's not even about what you've written in your CV. And in most cases, I find uh, people trying to know where did I work, how long did I work, like you want to go through your CV. These questions, these higher view questions, they have nothing to do with your CV. Okay, so they are not questions that you need even to be looking at your CV because to start with, they already have your CV. If they needed uh, anything, they could have looked at your CV and they would have been okay. So when you ask about tell us something that is not your that is not in your CV, this is where you get a chance to tell them more about you. It might be about uh, what you do. It might be something else, but uh, something that will help them see that you are a good person. Okay, because at the end of the day, the the purpose of you doing this interview is to try to. Sh to prove to them that this is the right person, this is the person that we want to come and work with us. Uh, so uh, that is where you get to explain about or more about yourself. Okay. So, for example, you can talk about uh, what do you say? You can talk about uh, how how do I, how do I uh, what do I what examples what example do I give in these situations? So, for example, when they are, they, for example, if someone tells me, tell us something that is not in your CV, I can tell them, uh, I, I, I have been able uh, to organize career talks uh, through. Um, <laughs> I hope you will not be able to explain uh, these questions like me. 
But you guys, go check. Go try and see how you can answer this question. I've already given you the question. <laughs> I... This life is hard. Oh. So the last question is, uh, why do you want uh, this job? Why do you want this job? Uh, if someone asks me, why do you want to be a youth staff? Why do you want to work as a youth staff on board cruise ship? So I'll tell them, first of all, I'm so passionate about kids. I like working with kids. So you give them reasons why you want to be part of them. Okay, why you want that job so bad. It can be like, I love traveling and through getting this job, I'll be able to work while I travel across the world. Uh, and also, I'll be able to interact with a lot of people from different backgrounds. So I'll be learning more about other people's culture and how to live with people. So this is a way that you can answer this question. So I hope this uh, video was helpful. I know I'm not really good at explaining or even giving you the how to answer these questions. But with you having an idea of the question that they ask in, in the higher view, uh, it will increase your chances of making sure that when you get that interview, that higher view interview, you'll be able to answer those questions correctly and in a very good way. And you'll not be, able, and you'll not be shocked and forget uh, to say your name or you forget your name. So guys, thank you so much for staying tuned. If you have any other question, ask in the comment section of this video. Leave a, posit a positive comment. Make sure that you have subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Share it everywhere else where you think those people might benefit from it. And uh, until next time, have a lovely evening, morning, whatever time you're watching this video. Bye-bye.